don't know if you can see behind me here, but Miss Piggy's back there. Well, this weekend is the day that we find out if she is pregnant. If she goes into heat. She's not in heat right now. And she's not showing signs of heat. So, I think she is pregnant. We'll find out. Okay, we're getting ready to cut some firewood right now. We're going to spend probably about an hour and a half on cutting this pile down. So, check out this pile. There you go. So, let's get started. All right, we're done cutting wood for right now. It's time to go take a break, and uh, then we'll come back out and work on the chicken. What do you say? Okay, we are in the process of uh, working on building a, a chicken coop. This chicken coop is roughly 12 foot by 10 foot in size. Uh, it has a slope roof on it, like a lean-to style roof. And uh, right now we're working on sh putting the sheeting on the side. The the walling on it and a door and a uh, hardware cloth for predator prevention. Well, let's get started. side thinking I was gonna put it up right there but I screwed up and we had to put it on the other side of this so measure twice cut once hi guys so I can get this camera thing right maybe oh well a little wind blown winds finally dying down but let's come see the project I know you've probably seen a little bit of what Donald and Jonah and my dad have been working on. Look at this awesomely big chicken coop. See there's hardware cloth down here. Wait, if I can get there. Down there on the bottom. Goes all the way around. Okay, let's take a tour inside. Got ourselves a nice big storm door. It's a little dark in here, so let me turn my flashlight on. Give me a second. A little hard to see. Flashlight, look. Look at this roosting bar that my son made. Look at 
There we go. That's better. Sorry about that. Isn't that the coolest thing? This is a huge chicken coop. Oh, Dad's here. But anyways. All right, going to go for now. Welcome to the OC Homestead. It's another day from the other footage that you already seen. Uh, sorry, it's just been a, we're working hard. And I, get, I, I, I find it hard to get time to, re, you know, hit the record button. But you've seen some of what we've been building here, the chicken coop. Well, the exterior shell is done. The exterior shell on the chicken coop is done. Um, we have a walk-in door. Uh, we're getting ready to put in some windows. We actually just uh, picked up some windows to put in uh, that will uh, uh, that we're going to be upcycling. And uh, uh, but this thing is uh, 12 feet by 10 feet. Uh, according to the calculations, this should be enough space for about 60 hens. Uh, according to uh, uh, OSU Extension Office calculations. So uh, what do you think, honey? Very nice. Nice and big. Nice and big. Why don't you give a tour? All right. Obviously, we're not quite finished yet. We've got to put some bedding in here and some more nesting boxes. But we do have some roosts that our son made from trees from our property. So, pretty roomy in here. I know that they're going to like it. Hopefully, they didn't make it too dizzy. They're but... And Here, then come around to the other side, I'll show the predator apron. We have a predator apron around the entire coop. You can see the some of the predator apron right here. We are going to be uh, putting... Um, here, back up. Oh. We are going to be putting uh, a trim along this to here. close this up. Um, but yeah, right down here you can see the predator apron. That's... Uh, Hardware cloth. Keep, hardware cloth that's to keep uh, predators from digging in. So right now we're just filling in around the predator apron with this dirt. That predator apron actually goes all the way up underneath the uh, siding. So unless they dig out a foot and a half away, it's a, there's no way they can get underneath this predator apron. And then about where he's standing, off to about, think about where the end of the hose is. No, uh, 20 feet, we're going to come out at least 20 feet so from the corner. For our run. The so run, they have yeah. plenty of room. So gonna come, uh, we're going to come all, uh, actually I'm probably going to go ahead and just make the whole thing come out to about here. That's a nice log rud. Sorry for the on. But yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and for this... This run is going to be a, a five foot tall fence. Uh, the posts are all going to come from our property. We are going to be using PVC pipe to make a hoop from the, each post to put a bird netting over the top of it to protect them from hawks. And owls, because we got both out here. Okay, let's go say hi to Miss Piggy. Oh, and there's Thunder. Thunder coming by and says hi. Hi, Thunder. Hi, Thunder. Hi, Miss Piggy. Are you ready for dinner? Are you ready for dinner? Yeah? Yeah? You ready for dinner? She's just getting so big. If you guys missed our last one of our last videos, Miss Piggy turned. I'm going to sit down. Lift up. Miss P turned a year old in January. So, what? You gonna say hi? You gonna say hi? <gasps> there she is. Okay, I'm gonna fill up her bowl for her. Yeah? 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 How are you doing, Missy? But, uh, what, what, what? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Is that what it is? Are you hungry? Here, let me get, your bowl is like so far away. <laughs> okay, 
take two over, so I'm coming in there and getting some soon. Okay. But about three weeks ago, we artificially inseminated Miss Piggy. And so far, we have not seen any symptoms of in heat. There you go, Missy. Oh, So, if our math is right, we'll have piglets around Mother's Day. Ish. Well, this is all new for me too, so. Alright, let's go take a quick view. Say hi to the chickens. Then we'll But yeah, we've done a lot around the property, cleaning up a lot of some old some trees, and then we always have an audience over here. Hi guys, how you doing? You want to say hi? They want to say hi. This is our Rhode Island red flock. <laughs> say hi guys. <laughs> Get off of her. <laughs> But this is our flock and we're actually incubating I think 22 eggs so we about have about 13 more days to go so I do look forward for a little video on any hopefully we hopefully we want them all to hatch but I'd be happy if a little more than half hatch yeah oh that's my that's my little Lily over here. She's looking for me. Come on, I'm ready to meet Miss Lily. She unfortunately she's kind of the small hen of the bunch, so she gets picked on a lot. That's also another reason we're running to build this bigger coop to help reduce the picking on each other. So let's see how many eggs are in here. Oh, there's one right there. Hi, Miss Lily. Come out and say hi. Come on out. Come on out and say hi. Come on out. Yeah. Let's see if he puts his. Yeah. She likes to come out and, and hang out with us for a few. Alright, so I got one more egg. We've already gathered, I think, 15 this morning. So, let's see how he's in the other boxes. What you doing, girl? Alright, there's a couple more right there. He's sticking his head. Well, hi there. I see you. And then we have a little stick door right now. Let's see. Oh, there's two more right there. Oh, gosh darn it. Always get bedding that gets stuck in there. Yeah, I'll just set those right there for a second. Yeah, so they stay clean. Always gotta clean out the crevice. Yep, ew. <laughs> What's up, guys? <clears throat> the door must be a booger. We'll have to work on that one later. Hmm. You wanna say hi? Come here. This is Miss Lily. She's our little lady. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
So she she likes to let us hold her, pet her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you see yourself? You see yourself? <laughs> all right, that's all for today. Thanks you guys for watching our channel. We're gonna try to do better on doing more videos. It's really hard sometimes to get in a funk. Yeah. But anyways, like and subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell for any new videos that pop up. And thanks for supporting our homestead. This is Leah, and this is the OC Homestead. Bye.